All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and the sound of the cotton candy machine is driving me crazy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I am Orewa Usopp! Yay! And we are back with more Deponia. All right, let's go down. Candy store. What's that? It's colorful. It's pretty. Huh. The mosaic depicts a group of trash crabs in a mating ritual with cocktails and colorful twisted straws. Or it doesn't. It's hard to make out any details without any light. Lol. Huh. A group of Oops. in a with cocktail or I didn't mean to do that. Alright. To the concourse or to the tower? Concourse? Tower. Concourse okay, I better pick. It's not that entertaining. Concourse. The only light back here. Hmm. I got a phosphor cotton candy. Hold it up to the light. Hey, my epic Gregorian choir is back. I thought I'd left that behind at the crane. Alright. The mosaic depicts waving people and a farewell party with barbecued sausage. And loads of white confetti. Oh no, that's just my blood circulation because I'm straining myself too hard. I need more light. The light's right there. Only mud and dust. That's all I can make out. Bummer. Alright. How about we shed a little light on the subject? With our glowing cotton candy. Huh. The mosaic depicts the upper class leaving the planet. The lower class remains behind. Whoa, those guys are really fed up. They shout at the traitors and shove barbecue lighters and sausages on giant forks in their faces. Must have been Barbecue Thursday. Yes, Rufus, that was it. That was Barbecue Thur- <laughs> yeah. Alright. Back to the lobby. Uh, I forgot to get my glowing cotton candy. Give me my glowing cotton candy. Give me. Thank you. I believe there's a tool that was specifically designed to remove dirt. At least, I think Tony once mentioned something like that. Lazy, useless so-and-so. Ooh, look, pebbles. Man, am I glad I checked. Everybody loves pebbles. And bam bam. Ooh, buttons, 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 buttons. R U F U. That wasn't it. Maybe this? R U. Nah, I've tried that. But what else could it be? Yes, what else could the password be other than your name? I can't see whether it's full or not. Plus, I don't have a match to shed light on the bottom. Too bad. That's not a safe idea. Alright, let's check the utility cabinet. Oh boy, a mop! And a bucket! Can I have a bucket? I can't have a bucket! And a soap. The elevator won't take us anywhere yet. Damn, is anything working here at all? Yeah, it's working. We just don't know the password, Rufus. Rufus the Doofus. I had a character named Rufus once. This was many years ago. I played Rufus in a game called Inamine. Oh, the war between heaven and hell, basically. Rufus was a demon of the media. And then Kim Possible came out, and the Rufus the Naked Mole Rats jokes would not go away, and I changed characters. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Can't really look at any of this. Ooh, a duck. Platypus! I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. But Platypus! I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. I want... I want the Platypus! Pretty deep. And bright. Might be the nuclear reactor down there. Ooh, I gotta get me some of that. Bucket! No, don't go where I clicked. Walk the long way around. Of course, Rufus. Do that. Bucket of radioactive water. 
Brilliant. I'll finally get rid of this nasty taste. Oh. <coughs> Did okay, new mission. You. Soapy water. Mmm, foamy. Our lord and master. And now we combine the mop with the bucket. And we get a mop bucket! Ready to clean things. Alright, there's nothing else to see or do within reach over here. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. It's already later, Rufus. All right, let's go. Let's. Did we do this one yet? No, we did not. Let us inspectimentate. Ooh, I got an email, which usually means I got a comment. Usually. Ooh, Ghostmaster. All right. Huh. The mosaic depicts uh, a bunch of little guys. They seem to be building something. The raggedy clad little guys carry giant steel girders up a steep ramp. The fancily clad ones stand at the side and design fancy ornaments. Hey, that's the Ascension Station, the departure to Elysium. And I'm there too. Good for you. You're in the mosaic? That's kind of weird. I would not have expected that. Let us clean and see what we can see. I can't believe I'm doing this. Just do I it. I hope the historians will never learn about this bit. Hey, everybody! Rufus is cleaning! See? No one cares. Crap! The mop broke! You can't so what even... an unfortunate occurrence. Jeez, you can't do anything, can you? All right, let's doodly doodly, the doodly do, the doodly do. Put the cotton candy in the loop, and now we check Her, out the mosaic. The mosaic depicts the cable boat leaving Deponia, just like I will be doing soon. And hey, hey, hey! Someone has scribbled something on it. It must be the password for the elevator. At least it's written right over the picture of the elevator clock exactly where a piece of the mosaic is missing. Crap. Oh dear. History of Deponia. Alright, let's reclaim our cotton candy. And I have got to look around for... got to look around for this thingy over here. There we go. Mosaic stone in the hole. Well, will you believe that? The stone won't stick. What now? All right. Come. Now the stone will stick. Someone has scribbled something on it. It must be the password for the elevator. At least it's written right over the picture of the elevator clock, exactly where a piece of the mosaic is missing. Now we'll have to use some extraordinary dexterity. There are still more pieces. Well, no problem. I'll have that solved in no time. Yeah, this is gonna suck. All right. This is gonna suck. I will pause and get this somewhat together. All right, there we go. Huh? Why doesn't this fit? I guess I'll just have to press harder. Rufus. Still not right. <laughs> I'll get there. Go in. Go in. Damn thing. You're supposed to. Oops. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. What about the elevator code now? Damn it. Rufus. You moron.
after the system reboots. Yay! <laughs> the code for the elevator has been reset. Here comes the new one. <laughs> Something really cool. R U F U S. Oh yeah! All right. Huh. Now the shard is hopelessly destroyed, but the chewing gum still looks all right. Ugh. But it's no better than it was before. Why did you put it in your mouth, you bizarre little imbecile? You sad little man. You complete nit nit nittle one. R U F U S. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? The password is Rufus. I've said it myself. Or have I gone crazy? There we go. You were just jumping the gun. Well, so far so good. Now I just have to wait. Yep. What's that sound? Not anything good. An Organon cruiser? What are they doing here? Is this a trap? Is Cletus an ally of the Organon? Yes. Well, I guess I'll have to take a closer look to find out. All right, lifeboat. What a beauty. Strong, sturdy, and apart from a few bruises, in an overall excellent condition. Oh yes, reflections in windows are great. <laughs> and why not? I see. The ascension codes. That's what the catch was. All right. Let's head down. Pull this lever. I never, never, never met a lever I didn't like. Free flag! Alright. To the elevator. Get going, other Rufus. Get going to the elevator, buddy head. Buddy head? Hey, it's Elvis? Holy smoke. Those are the same Organons that were threatening gold. Maybe they caught that Cletus guy. Yeah, only if only. So what am I going to do now? I guess it's better to remain hidden. Maybe I can find out something useful. And you're sure that this Rufus character is naive enough to bring your fiancé here? Absolutely. He's a self-centered, greedy rat. The expectation to get to Elysium will lure him here. A greedy rat? Why, that lousy... I really don't understand what you see in this woman, Cletus. As far as I'm concerned, she's simply an unpredictable risk for our joint venture. Believe me, after everything she did, I'd prefer to leave her behind on Deponia too. But I need the Ascension Codes to return to Elysium, and those codes are only stored in her brain implant. No goal, no Ascension Codes. And without Ascension Codes, there's no joint venture. I don't like it. Ulysses will have us both executed if he finds out that your companion is... Shush. There he comes. Where is he? Oh, he's just on a monitor. At ease, Bailiff! Report! There's still no trace of the Deponian Prime Controller, uh, sir. Then what are you waiting for? Carry on with your search. Even through this drone, the stench is unbearable. At last, it's time to put our plan into action. Yes, as you wish, Prime Controller, sir. <coughs> Let's get to work. The faster we're done here, the better. I entirely agree. I'll have a look around the platform to see if this Rufus has already arrived. You'd better stay in the background. We can't risk that rat bailing out on us before we have the ascension codes. Wait a minute. That Cletus guy. He looks just like me. Maybe not as attractive as me, but how can that be? And I don't like what they were talking about. I didn't get everything they said, but they're certainly up to no good. And I can never allow gold to fall into the Organon's hands. First, I'm gonna have a word with this Cletus. Junk help him if he tries to deceive me.
Deadly projectile weapon. Check. Greasy hairdo, ugly cape, and stiff collar. What does Gold see in this wuss? Cletus, Rufus, finally, I face you. Wrong. It's me facing you. That's what you think. I was facing you at least three seconds earlier. Keep telling yourself that, buddy boy. Enough with the discourtesies. Where is Gold? She's safe. Well, that's just perfect. Genius? No, you're the genius. We had a deal. You were supposed to bring gold to me, and then I'd have taken you to Elysium. No gold, no deal. So what now? Why do you bear such a striking resemblance to me? You've got that wrong. You bear a striking resemblance to me. You wish. You look more like me than I look like you. Only I am much less ugly. Oh yeah? Well, you're even much, much uglier. Hey, yes. Have you looked in a mirror lately? Yeah, that's one of my favorite pastimes. Same here. Stop repeating everything I say. Only if you stop repeating everything I say. But you're the one who's repeating everything I say. No, it's you. No, it's you! Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? So, the deal is still on? Only if you keep your side of the bargain. And you, yours. Ladies first. What's the agreement between you and the Organon? Well, why shouldn't I just tell you? Deponia is going to be blown up. What? Oh, yes. I'd forgotten that I'm speaking to a Neanderthal. Deponia, boom. Boom? Yes, boom. The whole stinking pile of manure. And Elysium knows this? About the blast? Of course they do. We placed the order years ago. What do you think the Organons do all day? Delouse their mechanical beards? <laughs> What will happen to the Deponians? Well, uh, physically speaking, they'll be converted to energy. Mm, theologically speaking, well, let's just say there won't be a star in the night sky for them. Whoa, that's serious. Well, to be honest, Deponia is believed to be uninhabited. After all, the surface was declared uninhabitable eons ago. Just when the controlled destruction was imminent, there were rumors. Supposedly, there were humans on Deponia, they said. That's why the elders appointed an inspector to get an assessment of the situation. And now, guess who this inspector is? Uh... I am, you troglodyte! I see. Oh, one thing that I don't understand. Besides the meaning of the word troglodyte, why didn't the Organon report that there are people on Deponia? They know we live here. After all, they've been terrorizing us for years. They impose customs duties, they block trading routes, and they steal babies in the northern quadrant, which uh, might just be a rumor. Ulysses had his reasons to keep Elysians in the dark. But now you know the truth. Yes, I know everything. Okay, that means that Deponia won't be blown up, right? Hmm. No. Wrong. Ulysses explained it to me, and we've come to an agreement. My report to the Elders will state that the planet is indeed uninhabited. Deponia will be blown up after all. Do you have any problems with that? I mean, what's it to you? <laughs> You'll be safe in Elysium when that happens, won't you? You do want to get to Elysium, right? Yeah, sure, but... Blow up Deponia? That seems a bit extreme. I mean, okay, it stinks. It's not really a looker. It's not really a place for someone like me. But I know a few people who are attached to this pile of junk, which might have something to do with the fact that huh, they live here and all. I mean, I'll admit, they are all idiots who wouldn't even recognize a hero if he happened to set fire to their cabbages. But blow it up. Yes, blow it up. Demolish, cremate, eradicate. Just like that. Whoa. I don't care at all, but Goal won't like it. Well, you're not wrong with that assumption. Goal has proven herself to be a risk, but that's been taken care of. 
What's that? That is a consciousness cartridge. To be precise, it's a memory backup of Goal's personality. I knew that. Goal's whole character is stored on it, including all her memories. Up until she first laid eyes on Deponia and its inhabitants, she will never know what happened here. May I? Hands off! That's not a toy! But it's sparkling. Well, I will never let that happen. Well, in that case, we don't have a deal. Too bad. You would have liked life in Elysium. Let me just quickly contact the Organon, so that they can... No, no, no! Oh, wait a minute! I wasn't finished yet! I'll never let that happen is something that somebody somewhat attached to Deponia would say. I, on the other hand, uh... I think I've missed something here. But you haven't missed that Deponia is about to be blown up, have you? Yeah, yeah. Boom, and so on. And that I have to inspect Deponia on orders from Elysium. To examine rumors about life on the surface. Yes, got that too. And will I tell them the truth? No! You'll keep your mouth shut about life on Deponia, so that Deponia will get blown up anyway. Ho oh, ho! Bravo! You really did understand everything! Yes! Oh boy, am I good! I'm so incredibly good! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh. All right, great. There's no one who hates Deponia more than I do. Oh yes, how much do you hate Deponia? It stinks. Well, your deodorant does that too. My what? There's nothing but trash around here. Yes, company included. I deserve better. That I highly doubt. There are only idiots living here. And you're living proof of that. Okay, let's just say I hate this place. I don't know. It appears to suit you well. Say what? Do you know what it's like to wake up every morning surrounded by garbage? Between leftovers and dirty laundry? The wash basin is leaking, the toilet overflows, the fridge is empty, and the water smells like it hasn't had a bath for months? And then those permanent cries of, Rufus, do the dishes, find work, tidy up for once, get it into your thick skulls. The whole planet is a trash heap. We walk on trash. We eat junk. You want me to get my ass into gear? You can wash my ass disappear. I'm going where potential is not just fertilizer that gets strewn on the cabbage beds. What can a man achieve in this trash heap anyway? Be freaking mayor of freaking garbage town? The job that even the noble master dodger of responsibility didn't want? Count me out! You hear me, Dad? Count me out! And you know something else? I hope you fell into a manure tank! I'll wave goodbye when I pass you on my way to Elysium! Look at me! Who's the filthy little litterbug now? Huh? Who's the litterbug now? <sighs> okay... You really do seem to hate Deponia. You think? Why should I trust you? Why should I trust you? I asked first. I'll go and fetch gold, finally. This guy's luggage. I bet he forgot the bolt cutter. Of course not. You never know when you have to cut through a wire fence. No. 